Hello and welcome to this video in which we'll show you how to create a histogram using Excel. You'll remember, hopefully, that a histogram shows the number of samples that fall into each bin. It's a bar chart where one axis is the number of samples and the other axis tells us how big the bins are. On the far left column I have the price in dollars of 25 more or less arbitrarily selected engineering textbooks. So um, what I'd like to do is build a histogram of this price data. To do that I need to choose the limits that I'm going to use for my bins and this will fill out column B. The way to choose limits for bins, uh, typically you want to have your lower limit uh, for your bins be close or below the smallest value and your upper limit be close to or above uh, your largest value. In this case I think what I'll do is I'll end up with um, the following bin limits. I'll have a, a one limit at 125, another at 150, one at 175, 200, 225, so you can see that the width of each bin is going to be $25. The bin limits are the values that divide one bin from an adjacent bin. I will use the following process to get the number of counts for each bin. I start off selecting one more cell than I have bin limits. Then I put an equal sign in and I'm going to use the frequency function. So I type it in. Now I need to indicate my data array. This is the array of samples that I want to create the histogram of. So I uh, drag that and select it, put in a comma, and then I put in my bin limits. And then I do a close parenthesis. Now this is the tricky thing. Uh, this is what we call an array function in Excel and to actually create the array function rather than hitting return I on a Mac use command return on a PC it would be control shift return so I use command return and you can see that this is actually filled out all of the cells that I had selected for bin counts now let's come up with some labels. Once we've got the labels, we'll be ready to uh, turn this into a bar chart. This top cell in the bin counts is the number of prices that are less than or equal to $125. So I'll just put that down as a label, less than or equal to $125. The next one is $126 through $150. The next one is 151 through 175, 176 through 200, 201 through 225, 226 through 250, and finally this last count is the number of samples are greater than 250. So that's how I've chosen the bin labels. Again, this first count is the count of samples that are less than or equal to the lowest value. Uh, each of these uh, intermediate counts uh, are the number of samples that fall between the lower limit and the upper limit of the bin and then this last count is the number of samples that fall above the upper limit, the, the largest bin upper limit. So now the only thing left to do is to create the bar chart which is my histogram. So to do this I'll select the two, the two columns. Uh, again the first column has my labels, the second one has my counts, and I will insert a chart and the kind of chart that I want is a bar chart. So I'll select a bar chart. And 
now we'll move it up here, make it big enough we can see what, whoops, maybe get big enough that we can see what it's doing. And there you have it. This is our histogram. Um, we can see that for our, our textbooks, uh, two of the prices were less than or equal to 125. Three prices were between 126 and 150 and so on. One book uh, costs more than $250. This concludes our video on how to create a histogram using Excel. Thanks for watching.